One evening, a couple of years after the boys and I had met, I had a moment to myself, so I wandered around my house and took in all that had happened. It was all a dream, the demons, the devils, the magic. It was surreal to believe. It was almost frightening me to think that it could have all been a dream. But the warm feeling in my heart reminded me that it was all real. The demons, the magic, the love I had, all real. I smiled as I held my hands to my chest, relishing in the feeling dancing within my soul. I let out a happy sigh before looking up and seeing where I had wandered to. I was standing in the entrance to the backyard and the door was slightly ajar. I peeked out to see Eric standing out by the gazebo looking up at the moon in the sky. I slowly opened the door and exited the house, walking towards the man who held my heart. Here in the grass beneath my feet, Eric turned his head and smiled at me. Oh, the gazebo where many happy memories await us. Because, gosh, we got like so many memories of the goddamn gazebo. Absolutely not. Okay, so the magical gazebo, where all our wishes come true, where all stuff always happens out here. That's a very nice gazebo, though. That's a really big background. Anyway. <laughs> Good evening, princess. I smiled and blushed a bit, moving to stand at Eric's side. What are you doing out here? Ah, I'm merely making friends with the moon, my love. I blushed deeper. Hearing him call me his love made my heart skip a beat. Eric chuckled, most likely being able to see the blush through the darkness of the night. I wanted to see the night sky. The yard is one of the more perfect places to stargaze. Don't you agree? Yeah. I found myself staring up at the sky as well. The stars all gleamed in the dark blue, almost pitch black sky. They all seemed to cast an entrancing spell on my eyes, not letting me look away. Not that I cared anyway. Eric gently wrapped an arm around my waist, pulling me closer to him without breaking my stare at the sky. I don't deserve you, you know. I raised an eyebrow and looked to Eric, confused. What did he mean? Eric simply stared at the sky, holding me gently to him. You're much too wonderful to be loving a demon such as myself. As cliché as it may be, the beauty fell in love with a beast. A beast with an insatiable hunger for lust. But you're not a beast, Eric. Eric looked down at me in slight surprise. I turned my body to him and gently held his cheek in my hands, feeling him nestle gently into it and cradling it with his own hand. You're not a beast, nor will you ever be. You're Eric, and you're the man I want to love for the rest of my life. Demon or not, I love you. Eric stared, looking lost at what to say at my words. It was all true, though. He had faults, sure, but who didn't? I enjoyed his company, and I adored every part of his personality. The mask he wore would slowly fade over time. Or maybe not. After all, the mask is a part of who I fell in love with. I gently moved his head and kissed my palm, closing his eyes and absorbing what I'd said. He gently opened his eyes, partially, staring past my hand. Sometimes I forget that you're human. You entrance me better than any demon could. You're truly unbelievable. Are you real, or am I dreaming? Yes, Eric, I'm real. I'm right here. Eric finally looked to me, a look of desperate need in his eyes. You're not dreaming. I gently guided Eric's face down with my hands and kissed him softly, reminding him of my touch and reaffirming my words. He stared at me as if his greatest wish had come true. I thought that I could giggle at the sight. Eric gently pulled me to him, facing me to hug him. Facing me to hug me to his chest. I nestled into Eric's chest, hearing his gentle heartbeat and me Memorizing its tempo. Memorizing its tempo. You'll regret it. I promise you. You'll regret loving someone like me. You underestimate me. Eric chuckled softly. The sound of his laughter sent happy waves down my spine. Eric smiled down at me and kissed the top of my head. My focus, however, tra traveled down to my hand, which had become gently held by Eric's. His thumb grazed over my ring finger, where I could feel soft veins of energy tingle on my skin. 
I watched as around my fing ring finger, a small vine wrapped itself around and tied itself with a levy, into a lovely ring. Lovely ring. The ring held a beautiful purple flower with a red gem in the middle glistening in the moonlight. I gasped before looking to Eric, who slightly smoked down at me. See? I'm taking advantage of you already. Eric? Eric gently moved his hand and cradled my cheek, replacing the smirk on his face with a tender smile that made my heart skip a beat. I don't know what I did to deserve you, but I swear to love you till the end of days and beyond. You make me feel so complete. I can no longer imagine what I would do in life without you. Let me stay with you. I love you so much. I felt my heart going a mile, million miles an hour. Was this truly happening? Yes, it was. I felt it. I knew it. Out of pure happiness, I wrapped my arms around Eric and kissed him deeply. Eric stared before holding me to him and kissing me deeply back, pouring all of his love into me, into that kiss. I did the same for him, not wanting to wake up if it was indeed a dream. I felt light as a feather, not wanting to ever let go of this man in my arms. There was no words that could describe the emotion within me. I felt joy, happiness, ecstatic, high, all at once. Here I was kissing the man I would be with forever until the beautiful, under the beautiful moonlight of the night. I had gained the heart of a demon, no, of a man I loved. I vowed to cherish him and love him for the remainder of my days and beyond. Could a demon love a human forever? I knew Eric would. And that was my happily ever after. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you. That, of course, was the ending to Eric's route. Leaving only James and all the other ones, then. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you in more Seduce Me via Tommy. Bye. Thanks for watching.